In this video, we'll determine the molecular geometry and bond angles for SiCl4, silicon tetrachloride. So the first thing we need is a valid Lewis structure. This is the Lewis structure for SiCl4. If you need help, there's a link in the description on how to write this Lewis structure. Once we have our Lewis structure, we can see that there are one, two, three, four chlorine atoms bonded to that central Si atom. Because of that, when we think about molecular geometry, these atoms are all going to push away from each other, spread out as far as they can. It's really helpful to visualize this. So the purple, that represents the central silicon atom. We're going to add four chlorine atoms. We add one, two, and you can see they spread out to be as far away from each other as they can be. And then we have two more. So let's add three, spreading out still, and four. And we end up with a tetrahedral molecular geometry for SiCl4. If you wanted to know the electron geometry, there are no lone pairs. So the electron geometry is the same as the molecular geometry. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. We could also look at the steric number if we couldn't visualize that tetrahedral molecular geometry for SiCl4. So we have one, two, three, four things, steric number four, and they're all atoms. So on our table here, we have a steric number of four right here and we have no lone pairs, zero lone pairs. We go down and right here, and that's the tetrahedral molecular geometry we were talking about. The bond angles should be 109.5 degrees as these four chlorine atoms, they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. There is another way we could figure out the molecular geometry. We could use the AXE notation. So A, that would be the central atom, that's the SI. X, that would be the chlorine atoms. We have four chlorine atoms, and then E, that would be the lone pairs. We don't have any lone pairs, so let's just call that zero. So you would have either memorized that AX4 is tetrahedral, or if you were allowed, you could look it up on a table. Again, bond angles, 109.5 degrees. This is Dr. V with the molecular geometry for SiCl4. Thanks for watching.